uh, more of this is jewelry, etc. And by popular demand, I finally bring to you today my crystal case. <sighs> Yay. So disclaimer, this thing is disorganized. I'm still in the process of organizing it. And the other problem I have, and part of the reason I haven't shown it yet, is because the case is lit up top and nowhere else. So it's really actually quite a terrible case in that regard that it can't really highlight anything down at the bottom but I'll do my best to show it to you anyway and uh, yeah let's get started all right so here it is from the ground up this thing is approximately I don't know six and a half feet tall give or take has a couple random things <laughs> on the top looks like a little wolf someone gave me a little line that was my wedding bouquet and that's a disc golf trophy <laughs> They don't make disc golf trophies, so it's actually a frisbee guy, but that's okay. Anywho, what's in the case is far more interesting, in my humble opinion. And hello, hello me in the background. Don't mind my messy room. So this is the top shelf. That is a huge agate slice I got from Mr. Jim, actually. Um, you can't even call it agate, really. It's quartz slice, to be truly honest. A geode with quartz in it. Really, really beautiful. Let me zoom in on that. There's a little bit of probably iron inclusions giving it this kind of pinkish reddish hue. It's stunning. I love that piece. It's one of my favorites in my collection for sure. This is a giant single point. It broke off at the bottom. That is one single point, not carved. That is a giant, oh, it's so weird here, see my own mouth, a giant <laughs> quartz point. It's awesome and one of my favorite features on this is right in there. You can see it and not my camera. Do you see? Do you see the little quartz growing out the side? So cool. And while I'm zoomed in, I'll zoom down here, which is another specimen I have. That one's from Arkansas. That one also might be from Arkansas. Yes, that one's also from Arkansas. But what I really like about the way I have this displayed is just seeing the size difference, seeing how extremely tiny it can be there and how extremely enormous quartz can be it's just really cool juxtaposition to me i just love the way that's displayed but again things up the shelf is going to be reorganized probably anyway but i do collect little swarovski crystal animals and those guys are in my case as well top shelf to get all the sparkling light on them because i love sparkle in case you didn't know i have a lot of quartz too so we have Quartz, ooh, quartz, strawberry quartz, which is technically red of entering, but same div. Smoky quartz, tourmalated quartz. There's another giant agate slice in the back. And then on this side is a little, a little quartz cube. Down here, da -da -da -da, I've got a lot in this case. It's really hard for me to get through the glass. But anyway, as I said, I'm, I'm rambling a lot. I'm sorry, I've never talked about my case before. <laughs> this is the first time I'm introducing it to anybody. In the back, we've got a quartz tower. Um, I hesitate to call them points because a point is like, you know, that that's carved. So it's more of a tower. There's a uh, Labradorite tower. Excuse me. A um, Aventurine tower. Uh, and a Fluorite tower. There's purple Fluorite in there. Right here. These two, this giant honker specimen and this smaller but still large specimen of quartz were yard sale finds, as a matter of fact, but I do believe these are Virginia quartz because I've found similar. Not as spectacular as all of this, because this thing is fantastical, but I have found quartz pieces that look really similar, and this was from an estate sale in, it was an estate sale, not yard sale, in Virginia, and I, I think I know the locality it came from. So I do believe these are Virginia quartz. Not that easy to find. Um, no mining places that I'm aware of to the public, which is a bummer because I would love to find some of my own, but hey, it is what it is. We have, what are you? Another smoky point, another smoky point in the front here. Uh, another strawberry quartz, rutilated quartz, pyrite, that's another one of my weaknesses, with a little bear because I love bears. This, these two. These are rocks that I've had since I was probably six or seven. 
They're the first rocks I ever remember picking up, and I've held on to them all this time. These, This one here, I think is just a quartz slice. I'm going to actually take this and this one to my mineral guy to have him tell me for sure. This was picked out of someone's bed, like rock bed next to their mailbox. This was actually in a gravel uh, parking lot, and it's got all this green on it. So it might be an aventurine, might be a diopside. I'm going to find out. Ammonite. Ammonite pendant, quartz pendant, oh, this one, it's quartz. Um, if you bought quartz clusters from me recently, I think I told you that I bought a whole lot of quartz and I kept one for myself. This is the one I kept for myself. It's fantastic, I love it. I also purchased a lot of cicadas and kept one for myself because I thought it was kind of cute and cool. I'm anticipating the big cicada infestation next year it's gonna be so much fun my kids are gonna love it this this is that agate that I can't figure out what it is but it's fantastic and it looks like fire encased in glass and it's amazing this is actually I don't know the name of the stone but it's like a conglomerate stone in other words it's a bunch of different specimens mixed together in one I know there's sandstone in there I don't know what else but this is very soft in some places so what they do is they put a glaze over it rather than polish it so it's a glazed stone and it straight up looks like a desert scene doesn't it or maybe a beach like a dune with like grass coming out of it and the ocean in the background it's spectacular it's kind of hard to get a good shot of it but there you go that's a labradorite slab that I got from I think that one came from Miss Lori this is from my mineral guy. It's a smoky quartz specimen, and it's fabulous. I love that. Another quartz sphere, a petrified wood, quartz, and that's my big honker ammonite. It's agatized ammonite, so what that means are there little crystal formations, little druzy formations in each pocket. The cool thing about this one is I purchased both halves of it, and I gave one half to my brother, so my brother's got the other half of that fossil. Very cool. There we go. That's the second shelf. This is when things get a little difficult to see. Um, don't mind my messy room. I guess we'll start in the back. It's funny. These trays, I don't know why I keep getting them. I've never bothered to collect them. They're called lucky trees. Um, this one here, I think an ex gave that to me for a birthday gift or something like that many years ago. Like 15 years ago, maybe a little less. And I kept it, it's sitting on, a, on amethyst, it's got hematite leaves, quote unquote. And then this one, my husband, I think he thought I liked them and collected them, so he bought this one for me. Which I don't dislike them, I just don't go out of my way to get them, you know? It's another amethyst specimen. This one's got rose quartz on the leaves, I think I like this one a lot better than that one. Although that, that quartz specimen's really pretty. I just wish it wasn't covered up by the, the tree so much. This one's a little more exposed. I like it. And then this guy, I don't know what this rock is. It almost looks like dyed howlite that's faded. And that's rose quartz that it's sitting on top of. And I found that at a thrift store. And I thought, well, I might as well buy it. So this guy here is a chalcedony geode. Polished. It's fabulous. I love that. I also have a piece of schist back here, another piece of pyrite, blue goldstone, polychrome jasper, aka desert jasper. This is blue uh, Caribbean calcite, I do believe, and that's actually flower agate, but it's so opaque, it's really, it doesn't even really look like flower agate until you get really close and you can kind of tell. This is a glass crystal I got from my great grandmother, like, I don't know, 25 years ago. She gave it to me out of her case. Get down a little bit. You can see a little bit better. These glass pieces are, ooh, down here, sorry, are things I made. I made this rooster. I had to glue this tail back on, it broke off. I made this octopus. I made this gummy bear. <laughs> um, that's a fluorite sphere, which is fabulous too. There's a calcite sphere, also fabulous. Uh, these are all glass pieces that I made. That was the first marble I ever made and I gave it to my dad. And when he passed away, I took it back. <laughs> it's like, that's mine. I'll take it back now. Um, and there's another marble I made that has like a swirly in it. That's hard to tell from this angle. 
Um, and these I made for him too. They were supposed to be markers for golf because he played golf. There's a Domalite with a uh, calcite crystal on top of it. Rose Quartz Cat. Some of those window stones. I think I told you guys about those. I sold a couple of them, but I have a couple for myself. Of course, another quartz cluster. Quartz, some more. A uh, quartz. <laughs> of course, some more amethyst and more quartz back there. Okay, so now we're down here. This is the second to last shelf. These are my tumbles. I think I told you guys that I'm not like the biggest fan of tumbles, but I do keep some. I have some scattered about, but this is my like tray of tumbles and I'm not gonna go through everything that's on there because there's a lot. But in a nutshell, I've got Moonstone on there. I think there's a tiger's eye, there's amethyst, there's just a slew of things. This guy is amazing, but probably will be for sale at some point. It's this soapstone elephant that has inlaid gems in it. It's got inlaid turquoise and mother of pearl, and I think there's some carnelian in there. It's fabulous. I don't know if you can see the back of it. Really spectacular. He's a big guy, too. He's probably at least three inches tall and probably four inches long. Huge, but it's really cool. And I bought it to resell, and then when I got it, I couldn't let it go. This, I'm still not sure what it is. I think it might be a quartzite or something. I don't know. That's an amethyst. It looks, wow, it looks very blue in my camera, but it's extremely purple. It's actually a really gorgeous purple color. So I'm not sure if that's going to show up once I edit this video, but um, that's an amethyst uh, tower, a chunky one. We've got some random specimens of quartz. This one is actually one of those... Um, quartz clusters from Virginia that I told you about earlier, but I found it in the river, so it's been tumbled. And all these pieces right here would have been really gorgeous points, but they've all been tumbled down from being in the water, but I held on to it anyway. Uh, pyrite, more pyrite, because I love pyrite. That is grape agate. It is so cool. That's a newer uh, specimen, a newer find in the quartz family. Really neat. I actually have a few of those for sale if anyone's interested. Then we have my little, <laughs> my jewelry period, period, wow, pyramid back here, good golly. Uh, it's awesome, it's got some of my favorite pieces that I never wear inside of it. There's a, whole. I'm sorry, I'm bumping the camera, a whole uh, necklace down there, it's gold over sterling. It's really elaborate. I'll have to wear it during a video one of these days. I've got a little crystal trinket box back there. It's like an enamel fox. He's got crystals all over him, though. That is an amethyst bracelet. That is a praiseolite and diamond pendant. And there's my prized ring. I love that ring. That's a praiseolite diamond and 14 karat gold. It's like, I love it. I think it's fabulous. It's one of my favorite pieces of jewelry possibly my favorite. It's hard to say. I have a lot that I like, but that one's up there. And that's optical calcite, which is really, really cool. Grows in a, a rhombohedron, hedral <laughs> formation. And it's really neat. And last but not least, this big stupid horn that you drink out of is my husband's. <laughs> it just ended up in my case because it's like a natural thing and just seemed to fit in here. He's never used it. He got it as a gift. Uh, back there is a piece of quartz cluster. Um, I think Mr. Jim sent that to me. And I believe it's from Arkansas. I could be wrong. Quartz, 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 quartz for D's. Turtle shell that I found disc golfing one day. That thing that's overturned because I need to make a base for it is um, Celestite. And it's a really gorgeous piece of celestite. It's like an egg shape, but it's it's uh, just laying on its side right now. I'm going to make a base for it. I just haven't done it yet. And then this huge big O specimen. That's a fluorite specimen. It's teal fluorite and it's so cool. I'm going to have to pull that one out. And put it. It's just like cubic druzy. It's so freaking cool. So you can see all the cubes in there. It's just fabulous. Really, really interesting. And then you have these big old honker cubes here. <laughs> really, really cool. I love it. All right, let me put it back. <laughs> okay, there you have it. 
that's my case. I'm sorry for being so awkward and having this video video be kind of disjointed and odd. I don't know why I'm so weird about showing my case off. Honestly, I don't know. I'm like, I'm nervous about it. <laughs> I don't know. Are they going to like me? Are they going to like me after they see all my jewels and Christmas? Is this all I have? Absolutely not. I've got more on my bed stands. I have some on my, I have like a dresser out in my family room that holds all our family games. More on top of that. I've got more in my kitchen. I've got some on my dresser to my side. I've got crystals all over my house, but this is like my biggest display case. I've got another um, curio cabinet, like a wall hanging curio cabinet that I'm gonna put even more in. And that's either gonna go down in my studio or on my wall up here somewhere. I haven't decided yet. Probably in my studio though. Okay. Hopefully y'all aren't judging me too harshly, and hopefully you enjoyed this. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But if you like crystals, join me for my live sales, <laughs> which happen on the weekends, usually on Saturday, sometime on Sunday. And also do jewelry, if you're new here. I do jewelry too, jewelry sales are on Mondays. Okay, that's gonna be it for this one. I feel so uncomfortable and awkward right now, and I just feel like this video is really weird, so <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have a suggestion for a future video, please let me know, I'd love to hear it. And comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, or thumbs down, I don't know, however you feel about it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, I hope. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.